In this video, we're going to take a look at how to run Bobcad using Windows Vista. Uh, first, we'll see, so I could show some of the security problems that could potentially ca be caused by Vista's uh, permissions. I'm going to come over here to Help and click on License. You'll see, even though I'm using a dongle key and there is one plugged into this computer, none of the license boxes are checked, as well as it does not display a serial number nor customer ID. I'll go ahead and close this. As well, another sign that you might be having problems running Vista with Bobcat is when you go to save a file, it's going to prompt you that you're in demo mode even though you might have already licensed the software. To resolve this, it's pretty simple. I'm just going to go ahead and close Bobcat. And you'll see here on the desktop I have the Bobcat Cam icon. We'll just right click on this and then go to its properties. On the properties dialog box, we'll click on compatibility. The first thing that we'll want to do is check the Run This Program in Compatibility Mode for Windows XP Service Pack 2. Then we'll come down under Settings. Now, another issue that could be caused sometimes, um, maybe some system instability, would be caused by the visual themes in Vista. So we'll go ahead and check this box to disable visual, visual themes. Below here, there's a privilege level. This allows you to run the program as an administrator. What this does is this allows Bobcat to access the ports on the computer so it can access the licensing or dongle key. We'll go ahead and apply and click OK. Now this run as program and as the administrator does not give the user admin rights over a network or anything like that or even the right to install software. It just lets the software access the dongle key. We'll choose OK. Now we'll see when we launch the software, we'll go ahead and let Vista continue. And we'll come to help and then license. You'll see here that there's now a serial number and some check boxes. So now Bobcat's reading the licensing. Now there is an easier way to disable some of the securities that are inside of Vista and that would be to disable the user account control. Now this step is not necessary but this will let Vista stop prompting you every time that it needs to run a piece of software whether to allow or to deny it. We can hit the Windows Start button and then go to the control panel. Inside of the control panel you'll have a users account. If we double click that we get an option here to turn off the user account control. We'll go ahead and click on that. We'll let Windows continue. And now we'll disable the user account control. Now this setting you do need to make sure that this is really what you want to do when disabling the user account as it allows software to run on your computer without prompting you every time that you want to run software. We'll choose OK and then it will give us the option to restart.